Hello, I'm Scott Sullivan Bell coming to you live from the North Shore of Oahu, Sharks Cove, May 4th, 2017, 7 12 in the morning. Perfect, perfect day to talk about sales. It's always a good day to talk about sales. And we're talking about the four types of salespeople that there are. So we got the first one is nervous and clumsy. The second one is going to be the discounter. The third one's going to be a closer. And the fourth one's going to be a performer. Now, you got to know in the sales process, it's not a sales call, it's a performance. And the performer is a small, very small set of the population of the sales world maybe five to seven percent that can even actually do this and they've gone through everything possible to become the best salesperson they've paid for their own training they've videotaped taped themselves they've taken the criticism they've read books they've bought into cd programs they bought into dvd programs they've gone to their own training they've paid for their own training in so many different ways they've kept a journal they've taken notes and they know that when they get into the sales call it's time for them to perform it's like an on switch and no matter what comes at them, no matter what is thrown at them, there's a, a, there's a matter of self-confidence. There's this belief that they can do anything, okay? So, you know, there's times where you walk into a room and you see salespeople and you're like, yeah, that guy's a discounter. That guy, eh, that guy over there, he's nervous and clumsy. That guy, there's a couple of closers. But when you walk into a room and you're like, that guy's a performer, you absolutely know it. And you know what the thing is? Buyers know it too. Because the shenanigans that they play, like I'm gonna think about it or I'm getting other bids, you know, the performer's like, yeah, whatever. There's a matter of calmness, there's a matter of confidence. And if you haven't reached it yet, you know what? You have that capability if you put in the time, energy, effort, and work. And remember, I told you that like, there's only like five or 7% of the population who will fall into this because some of it comes to natural skill and some of it comes to work ethic. And a lot of salespeople, good enough is their biggest enemy. Like, you know, good enough, eh, everything's good enough. I'm making enough money. I've literally had salespeople tell me, you know, Scott, I'm making 60 grand a year. That's good enough for me. I don't need to make anything more. In industries where they can make 200, 300, even $400,000, they're running the sales call. They're putting in half of the amount of work. They just don't want to put in the rest of the effort, okay? So in order for you to be a performer, you have to realize it's not a sales call, it's a performance. You got to be willing to pay for the training. And sometimes you got to pay for that on your own. And you got to take the lumps and you got to stick in long enough in the game. I would love to give you like a time frame. Like some people are like, well, how many months? How many years? Well, I'm going to tell you this. For like a very, very select few people, it could very well be that it takes a couple of years with the right amount of coaching and with the right amount of training. But it takes some time and effort. It's just like anything else. Your skills develop over time. Your abilities develop over time. The first videos that I shot, oh my goodness, they're horrible. I talked way too fast. I was way too hyped up, right? I, I just, like, there's things that I don't like. But after shooting 1,450 videos at this point, there's things that I'm really calm about, all right? So your ability to become a performer, I believe that you can do it with the right amount of time, energy, and effort. And just remember, it's not a sales call. It's a performance. Now, if you could do a small favor for me in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story, that'd be fantastic. To the right or to the left, there is a subscribe button. You know what you gotta do, you gotta subscribe. And then last of all, you can send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Why not even LinkedIn? Scott Sullivan Bell. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, aloha.